Hey there, y'all. Bunkle here. Hope you've been having a great day. Hope every day is a blessed day for you. So, I got part two of Mail Day here. No way possible I could have gotten everything in. I got three good, great, great packages. Uh, I actually mentioned in the previous video there were two, but I've got this little envelope here. So, there's actually three packages. And I uh, just wanted to show off something that I picked up not too long ago. This was an eBay sale that I made um, over the last couple few days. It is an ATF Washington Field Division. I was down in the Maryland area not too long ago. This is, I guess, a somewhat official kind of ATF leisure line hat. I don't know if it's official use by the ATF or if it's something like we have uh, in New York, you could buy ones that say NYPD, and they're not official hats, but they look kind of like the hats that are worn by the by the NYPD. Some of them are absolute. Uh, you could you could tell immediately they have nothing at all to do with any of it. But this is a pretty cool sale. Now, this one, uh, I'm not going to say what I picked it up for, but it definitely was not what I sold it for. I have to brush it off a little bit. Looks like it got some dust here in the garage. Been a lot of activity in here over the last couple days. We had a real big birthday party in my front yard, complete with water park and all sorts of... Anyway, uh, family goes all out for the little ones. That's definite. And this is a four-year-old birthday party. Anyway, get back to the ATF hat. Now that was sold on eBay for... That's right. That's right. Seven dollars and fifty cents plus shipping. So not all that big of a sale, of course. But uh, I, I would say that uh, I at least doubled what I paid for this. So when you're out thrifting, look for anything that's oddball that could be cool, that could be interesting to somebody else. I also grabbed during the same thrifting trip a couple uh, NRA caps that are in perfectly brand new uh, condition. So those have not been listed yet, but they will be shortly. Uh, I probably should have gotten those listed the same time I got the ATF hat listed. Anyway, we are going to get started on this pack number one. Now, this is a purchase that I made. And I'm not going to go through the price on this one. It's a very small purchase compared to many of the other ones that I've done recently, but there were definitely some cool cards in here, so I figured I'd share them with you. Now, again, this is one where I kind of had to make payment because there was the deadline uh, where you couldn't uh, you couldn't delay payment anymore. I, I like to try, especially if there's combined shipping, to see if I can get a bunch of cards in there all at once. Especially if I'm buying singles or, you know, two or three cards at a time and can work out a combined shipping price on that. That's always a great thing. All right. And you've seen this technique before where the top is done with painter's tape and then the bottom is done with scotch tape so yeah this is from the same ebay shop not sean but a different ebay shop that i have found that i definitely am able to pick up some really good interesting ones so we got here michael jordan another jordan card jordan stuff is always great isaiah thomas that's Fleer star stickers very cool this is an addition to my 1975 set. You know what? Maybe I will show off what these went for. That's a Warren Spahn 1961. Shows his no-hit form. And the ERA leaders with Warren Spahn, Jim O'Toole, Kurt Simmons, and Mike McCormick. So it's only a five-card lot there. And yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to share it. This is what I paid. So, yep, with shipping, that was $11.23. I should say shipping and taxes. Sorry for the interruption there. I was being paged by Mrs. Bunkle on the garage cam here. Let's keep moving. So, yeah, paid eh, between $11 $12, $11.53, I think I said for that. Five cards, uh, definitely some cool stuff. I mean, to me, picking up some early 60s in some real good shape is definitely great and i need that card for my 75 set so real happy with that purchase don't see those stickers all that much and any jordan is a good jordan so i'm gonna put those on the side because to me the more interesting package is this one right here now why is it interesting well 
In one hand, it's not all that interesting because it's uh, modern cards. These are 2022s, okay? And uh, I, I'm much more into vintage than I am into modern. But you know what? Again, when, when shopping and looking, you know what you like. I mean, uh, rip it, flip it, collect what you love and all that. Absolutely. But every once in a while, there's, a, there's something out there or a deal or something that just looks too weird, too cool, too whatever, and might be worth taking a chance on. So, let me share details on this one. This was an eBay auction, as many of my purchases online are. And the price was... That's right, $36 plus shipping. So it came out to a total of $51.34. Now, if you looked at the description... That's what makes it weird. A lot of 12 boxes, 2022 Top Series 2 Baseball Blaster used. Now, when somebody puts used in the title, I, I wonder what they're talking about. And used in this one, looking at the pictures, it appears that the packs in these were opened. And they, they do say the description, as you can read right here, A lot of 12 boxes, 2022 Top Series 2 Blast, Baseball Blaster used. Some boxes over 67 cards, some less. So these boxes were packs that were opened. So this is this is a, a weird one to me. I mean, you got to wonder if whoever opened them or whatever, if the seller opened them and pulled out everything great, or if it's from some sort of retail store and... People went through them, or who knows exactly what happened. So this could be a complete hit, a complete miss, or something in between. And I don't, I don't necessarily believe anything is ever a complete miss. I mean, now, if there's a box of cotton balls, that, that could be a complete miss. But if they're actually baseball cards and the seller says they are, that they're 2022, well, then you know what? It might not be a complete miss. Uh, to me, we're looking for... I'm looking for any any rookies or any kind of star cards, any kind of inserts, anything that's cool that I could put in what I call the five-year box. Uh, just a box of cards I'm putting together to open again in five years or so, come back to and see if there's uh, some rookie or some who knows kid or whatever that absolutely took off. And uh, five years down the road, it might be worth a couple dollars or so. Or maybe I'll get a Lambo out of it or, or not. Or maybe they'll be complete busts. You never know when you, you're looking at young players, you're looking at rookies. You never know exactly what they're going to turn out to. I think of ones that we thought were going to be great. Brian Taylor, Kevin Moss, all the hype rookies, uh, all the ones. Yeah, these definitely, you could hear the, the jiggle jiggle inside. So I think of all the, the top rookies from back when, and uh, some panned out and some didn't. Some ended up Hall of Fame and others didn't. For every, for every uh, Albert Pujols, there's uh, 20 Brian Taylors. So I keep that in mind. Now these, these boxes here, they say 67 cards. So I'm guessing that those are the ones that he's saying some have more, some have less. And these are just a stack and stack of boxes. So this should be pretty cool to go through. I'll probably be ripping through some of these really quick. Uh, now I got the Wall of Fame ready for anything cool that might be on the side. So again, to me, let's see if I got my, my 50 bucks worth. I mean, from what I know of opening these kinds of boxes, uh, just discussion with other YouTube friends and uh, people like my, my brother Tupac, Jimmy, um, you know what? There's a lot of times you might buy a blaster box or something and, uh, it ain't worth the money that you paid. I figure if I can get all these blaster boxes, all of these, whatever else they're called, I don't even know what they're called, blasters or, 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 or other kind of boxes or hanger boxes, or I, I've seen them called all sorts of things. Let's see what I can get out of them. Again, it could be a complete bust. They could just be all common base. Who knows? Or they could be, you know, some great stuff left in here. We'll see what we got. 
I'm going to start off with one of the bigger boxes here. And I'm just going to get the whole stacks and stacks of boxes. Actually, I think I'm going to start off with the little one because that's a really heavy box. Just feeling the weight of it. It's, it's heavier than some of the bigger boxes. So I don't know what's up with that, but I think I'm about to find out. So let's see box number one here. Now, this is completely sealed, actually, so that feels sealed. Nope, it's not. There's a lot of cards in there. Yeah, that's definitely more than 67. That This is one of the ones that where they say some have more, some have less. Well, this is definitely one that has more. All right, let's see if we got anything. I'm going to make a... I got some frappers ready, and I'm going to make a stack of rookies or anything else that might be cool just to keep on the side for, as I say, my five-year box. Polanco, there goes a rookie card. Joe Ryan. Paul Goldschmidt. MVP. Looks like he doesn't even have a bat in his hand there. Oh, Neil Cruz, rookie card. All right, we're off to a good start here so far. Connor Overton. Rookie card there. Alex Verduso. Francisco Lindor. Mike Stroka, Siroka. William Contreras. Lieber, Jack Lopez, just Jack, Gary Sanchez. Now these are all flipped backwards and forwards in every other direction. Mike Bauman, Kyle Hoon, Javi Baez, and Otto Lopez, Otto, Justin Upton, Daniel Volger, Vogelbach. Edward Cabrera, rookie card there. So lots of rookies here. I got to start going through these maybe a little bit faster. Jake Cronenworth, future stars there. Very nice. Generation Now, Yohan Mancada. Very cool. And an insert card. This, this is like something from the 1987 top set. So that's pretty cool. Ozzy Albies, short print, uh, well, stars of MLB, and Cabrera. Okay, well, that's a future Hall of Famer. Those are going to get frappered up. All right, let's see what else we have here. Charlie Blackman, Aaron Hicks, Logan Allen. Okay, nice shiny card there. And we have stars of the MLB, Cedric Mullins. All right, pretty cool. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Another rookie card. Another rookie card. Jake McCarthy. Okay. Another rookie card. Another rookie card. Seth Beer. I, I think I'm allowed to say that because it's his last name. Mark. Okay. Rookie card. I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name because we'll be here for a half hour with me trying to do that. Yankees fireworks. Okay, that's pretty cool. Nice card. I'm going to end up going through some of these later and seeing what else I think is cool out of them. And the Dodgers. All right, so very cool so far. Got the frappers ready. I mean, if all the boxes are like this, I, I might have to, I don't know, not frapper and just come back and frapper them later. We'll see what happens. So far, some good hits, and that's only half of the first box. Nice Albies there. Looks like he just hit one. He's going, whoa. I don't believe I hit it 212 feet. <laughs> All right, there we go. Nice Cabrera. Real nice card there. These stars of the MLB cards are real nice looking. And of course, any modern card that looks like a vintage card to me is really cool. It's got that vintage card smell. And you're on Mancala, Generation Now. Now, I said. All right, and the rookies, I'm just going to keep in a stack and come back to those later. I should probably maybe take a little bit better care of those. I'm going to put them on top of some top loaders. Just so I don't damage them on the with the flag carpet there. 
and just start making stack. I think that's a good idea. So let's see what's here. All right, we got a bunch more shinies, Altuve. Okay, that's a Jose Trevino. That's, oh, that's a numbered card even. Wow, okay, so we got numbered cards in here. Okay, Altuve, Corbin Burns, Eloy Jimenez, Manny Machado. Okay, another Hall of Famer there, future Hall of Famer, Bo Jackson, sweet. No Hit Club, Verlander, very nice. So it seems that whatever, whatever happened to these, uh, they didn't, I mean, maybe they took the big, big hits out. I know so far, if I bought one of these boxes, I'd be happy with these cards, ripping through packs and finding them. I don't know about you, I, I don't always have Carter Keeboom there. The highest expectations, I'm, I'm not, when I buy a box, I'm not looking to hit the lottery ticket. I mean, it would be great to do it, don't get me wrong, but uh, that, that, that's not what I'm looking for always. Uh, it might be a particular player, or it might be putting together a set. Uh, I mean, Again, sure, the lottery ticket would be fun and all. But uh, to me, that would just help me buy a lot more cards. And don't, 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 don't let Miss Bunkle know that I'd be buying a lot more cards. Josh Bell? Because she'd be like, yeah, no, no, no. You got enough cards. No. We need to buy me a Gucci. Yeah, Gucci. Or a Versace. Or a, or a, or a, or a. It is what it is. All right, let's see. I'll get those into frappers in a minute. Just keep that right there and see what else we got here. All right, we got Giancarlo Stanton. Very cool. All right, we got here Lopez. No rookie there. Another rookie. Wow, Otani. That's real nice. No rookie there, but very nice card there. So yeah, I'd be definitely very happy with this if I got all these in, in a regular box and I didn't get any super duper crazy hits. Maybe, maybe again, I just have low expectations. That's a pretty cool card. It looks like all dots in the back. I don't know if those are empty seats or those are heads and seats, but it looks like seats. Chris Sale. All right. Who else? Who else? I got to speed this up because there's a whole lot of these boxes. Another rookie card. See, the worst thing is I can't really speed it up if I keep finding what I consider a, a potential future hit. Where I got to slow it down for a second. See, another rookie card there. Another auto. Different auto, though. Pirates, Guardians, Indians, Jackie Bradley. Superstars in the Big Apple. And what's this? Pick the game. You call your shot to win. Alex Bregman. Oh, okay. Home run challenge card for the... Okay, grand prize is the 2023 home run derby. I don't think uh, that you can still win that. So you know what? I'm just going to keep those up there. And I'm going to, I guess, maybe make two different stacks. One of just rookie cards. And another one of cards that need to be in frappers. Although I will be putting up, let's see, where's the Shohei Otani? More rookie cards. A rookie, 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 rookie. And the Otani, you get a frapper, sir. You might be the last frapper unless there's like something crazy here. And the, the worst thing is with the 2022s, I really don't know too much about what would be a crazy find in here. Maybe one of y'all could let me know. I, I, I can't say that I'm all that overeducated on the 2022s. So let me put those to the side and try one of the big boxes now. Big box. Big box. Okay. And we got a stack of cards there. So, I mean, it looks like I got more than just, I guess, base scrubs. But there's definitely a whole bunch of rookie cards, a whole bunch of star cards, a whole bunch of insert or otherwise cards. That's nice. And a Salvador Perez. I'll keep those there. We got Rookie. And Rookie. Very nice. With the flippage going on here, it's, it's kind of hard to 
keep them in order. I mean, whatever happens is I wish the flippage wasn't there at least. All right, future stars. All right, another rookie. Another rookie. Mankata. No, the rookie. Raphael Devers. 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 Byron Buxton. And another rookie. That's pretty cool. Just building up that stack of rookies. Oh, come on. Another rookie. Flippage, flippage, flippage. And I'm going to flip them again. All right, we got a little bit of a dry spell here. Okay. Jodell. And another flippage. These baseball cards have been pre-flipped. Charlie Barnes, Verdugo, Nola. Now, I also didn't look through these for any short prints, of course. I got to go through that afterwards. So after, 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 I got a lot of, like, stuff to go through here. Another rookie there. And more flipping, more flipping. All right, another Rook and another Otani. All right, so that's going to go up on the wall, too. I'm going to put that up on the wall. Spencer Strider, nice. Another Chris Sale. And who we got there? Jordan Alvarez, very nice. Stars the MLB. I'll frapper him up later. Sheffield. Other Sheffield. All right, there we go. Another rookie. Another rookie. Another rookie. Another rookie. Goldschmidt again. Very cool. He looks very happy. Nathaniel Lowe and Jonathan Shoop. Shoop a doop. Shoop a doop. <laughs> All right, let me get those away in a minute because I'm just going to end up with like a stack of stack of 2022 cards on the side there. Get the next Otani off to the side there. And I think I'm going to use this box to get all that big stack in. Now, the weird thing is these also have the security tag. Security! Security! And I'll go through all of these stuffs later, at a later time, when I'm not taking up y'all time. I, I'm, I'm just completely destroying mine. Okay. Let's get these rookie cards in some kind of semblance of order without, like, absolutely destroying them. All right, so, so far... This is a stack of rookies. I say all in all, not very bad at all. Not shabby today. All right, we got another box. Now, this one is definitely not as full as the other one like this one. So, who's left in there? Okay, so we got inserts, inserts. It's Goldschmidt, stars the MLB, Joey Votto, Cedric Mullins. So, I guess the point is on this, you know, anything, even if it's opened... Nice, very nice, short print rookie there. And is that a numbered card? It sure is. That's a numbered card, okay. Hank Aaron, okay. Pulling a Hank Aaron that looks like it's from the 1987 set. That's just pretty cool, okay. So more superstar, all-star, Hall of Fame, or Hall of Fame to be cards. Gardner, okay. And we got more flippage going on. Oh, 
Okay. Wheeler, Scherzer, and Burns. Okay, nice. Any more, any more, any more. You Darvish. Now that's a crazy way to catch a ball. I don't know what you're doing there, but Mr. Tony Kemp, that, that's pretty amazing. All right, Jared Collin, very nice. Future Stars card there. And what's in the rest of us here? Let's see. That's a big stack. That's a big stack. So yeah, my five-year box is going to be pretty well stocked from this. I believe so. It looks like it already. Gary Sanchez again. All right. Another rookie. Justin Upton. Another rookie. More flippage. Future stars. Dansby Swanson. Lamaheo. Another rookie. Mount Castle. Very cool. Gold Cup. I'll keep that in the baby pile. Jake McCarthy. Another rookie. And another rookie. And another rookie. Again, this these are loaded boxes. Not sure why or what happened, but definitely very cool. Okay, now we got some more inserts. Stars of the MLB, Ketel Marte, Trey Turner, Xavier Bogarts. Okay, Francisco Lindor. Ooh, that's... Weirdly different. I, it looks black and white, really. What the, the heck is that? I don't even know what's what's with that one. It's a weird card. It's like it's missing half of its color. Is that how it's supposed to be, or is that just weird? I'm going to wall of fame that one. I'm going to wall of fame that one. i got to find out more, so that'll help me look into it some more. Garrett Cole. Nice insert. No hit club. Carlos Rodon. Rookie. He looks like he's running fast. And not much after that. So, okay, let's get those. And I'm going to put this weird Lewis Robert card into a frapper because that, that just looks weird. Maybe it's my eyes. And the Wookiee stack just keeps growing. Okay, so now I'm going to put these away. And clear the plate. No, I still have some more inside that box. Can't miss those. There might be somebody who's not a nobody someday in there. Let's see. Gardner. Did I go through these? Yeah, I went through them again. That's why they're in there. I put them back in there. Shame on me for not knowing. Okay, get that back inside. And let's get another one going. Another one, another one. I think upstairs, Mrs. Bunkle and the 14s there, they're watching something on the on the tube called From. I, I have no idea. But more than likely, I'm going to get pegged into watching that sometime soon. If y'all have heard of it, I have not. I don't pay much attention to stuff that's on TV or streaming or any of that. I have too many other things to do. And if I could spend my... There we go. Spend a little bit of extra time that I have going through some cards and uh, doing other stuff like that. I More interest to me. All right. Wookie card. Who else we got in here? Um, just looking for anything I think is big, big. And Wookiees. What catches my eye for the Wall of Fame? And Rookies. 
So yeah, going through all of these, yeah, this video might take like seven hours. So I might have to cut it short. But we'll see what happens. I, it might be another 10 minutes or so. Ooh, timber. And I might have to go through the rest of these on my own and leave y'all be. But let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, would y'all purchase something that was basically explicitly said was open and didn't give you too much other details? I don't know. It's one of those things that uh, maybe you would, maybe you wouldn't. It's kind of like buying an unseen mystery box. Mystery boxes can be fun, but they, they kind of almost always kind of semi-guarantee that there's going to be something good in there that you're going to get your money's worth. This, there was no kind of guarantee or anything like that. It could have just been complete junk. But I don't think this was. I think there's some very cool stuff in here. Let's see. Yeah, I think maybe one or two more of these boxes and that's it. Because y'all might have something else to do with your time. Maybe. I mean, you could just stay here and not do anything else with your time. And just enjoy taking a look at this massive haul of 2022 Series 2 that I picked up here. And again, y'all might know more than me on some of these players, some of these cards. I do not consider myself an expert on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm probably like a 3 Maybe a four with modern baseball. If y'all watched any of my videos, I'm definitely, definitely have always been a lot more into vintage, whether it's 80s and 90s, as some call junk wax. Uh, it's 70s, absolutely, 80s, 90s. Uh, maybe some early 2000s. I was back into collecting a bit in the early 2000s. But I'd say the 70s and 80s were definitely my, my heyday. Now, should I open another big one or another small one? I'm going to open up another small one. See what's in this. Okay, so this one only has half a stack pack. So this one might be kind of quick. Might be. And yeah, it's definitely summer in New Jersey. Mosquito just got me. All right. Josh Hader. Nice. Very cool. Picture card there. Okay. Who else we got? Who else we got? Who else? Carlos Correa. You got Mikado there. Okay. Another Gold Cup card there. I'm going to bypass that one. Steven Strasburg, he was supposed to be humongous and what did he go through, like nine Tommy John surgeries or something? Future stars, Joey Bart. Rookie, rookie. Got Wookie Wookies. Superstars in the Big Apple again. We've seen that one before. All right, so we got those. Now we go through stack number two of that. And we got ourselves a bunch of insert cards here. Who we got? Altuve, Corbin Burns, Eloy Jimenez again, Manny Machado again, and a Juan Soto. Sweet. I'm actually going to start putting together a PC of Juan Soto. I, I, you know what? He's young and all, but I, I just like the way he approaches the game. He's definitely a fun player to watch. There's another one, uh, I, I believe his last name is De La Cruz. Uh, Ellie or Eli De La Cruz. He just hit for the cycle. I mean, you don't see that very, very often. That That's a big deal. And I heard his, uh, his speed from like plate to first and uh, his ability to steal bases. Although I think with the rule changes, they made it a lot easier for base stealing. That's going to be another back to no, Jansen Junk. I, I don't know if that's a good pitcher name was a lot of junk but I, I think it's going to be interesting because all the teams are going to have to adjust to the fact that you're only allowing one pick off it's kind of a weird rule I mean I, I think somebody like Ricky had just probably would have gotten like 500 stolen bases a year on that and he would he would have been going around the bases so much that they would he might he might have gotten tired he would have started talking in the fourth person instead of just the third all right, 
right. And did I go through those? I think I did. I think I did. I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. Yep, I think I did. Yep. I'm going to get the soda into a frapper right now. And I think it's early enough in his career that I could start putting together a PCM. <laughs> it's always harder after the career's really going blazing. But who knows? I mean, uh, <laughs> some of his cards are already crazy high priced. What I would consider crazy high priced, even if they're one of ones. I, you know, my, my, my investment budget is not that high. All right, we'll get these into a box. And let's see how quickly I can get through another box. Uh, yeah, another little box. Another little box. So one thing I'm noticing, I have not found any of the, I guess they call it the memorabilia, the fat, thicky cards. And not all of these have the security tag in them. So definitely weirdness. But none of the super thick cards. It's the other thing I've noticed. And I forget what those are called, the team card or whatever. I don't know why you take those. I mean, unless you're building a set of that, I, I don't see it. All right, we got ourselves another Future Stars card there. Dansby Swanson again. Lamaheo again. Mount Castle, all right. I'll put you in the stack. Another rookie. Another rookie. Wow, it's like every third card is flipped around. Another rookie. Another rookie. Gonzalez. All right, now we got ourselves a little special stack in the middle. Who we got here? We got a rookie blue card. I don't know who you are, and you don't have a number, so but you're still going to go in the rookie stack. And we got ourselves another numbered card here. Sean Murray from 2022. That's pretty cool. JT Real Mudo. Jack Flaherty. Salvador Perez. Walker Bueller. And another Hank Aaron. Well, now, isn't that cool? That's special. And an Acuna generation now. Very nice. Two more Frapper Frapper cards. Another rookie. Another rookie. Another rookie. All right, we'll get those back into the box. And we'll put those up on the wall. I put the other Hank Aaron in the pile there. But I think I want to put this one up next to Juan Soto. Not comparing them or anything like that, but you know what? That's the 87 style card. So there's two hankies, hanky Aaron's so far. A few numbered cards, a bunch of insert cards, all those stars of the MLB. All right, we'll do this one next. I have boxes stacked on the right and left here, so. And maybe this will be the last one. Yep, nothing else in there except the security tag. Security! All right, what do we have here? I should probably start off with the great stuff, right? Well, we got a rookie. JT Friedel, another rookie. MVP meets rookie. That's pretty interesting. Okay. Pretty cool card there. Future Stars. Dansby Swanson. He's got such a non-baseball name. Sounds more like a, like a historical novel name or something like that. And here come our specials. I see them. All right. Who we got here? Well, now that's a nice one. Luis Arias. 
Eloy Jimenez again, Manny Machado, nice. Giancarlo Stanton and Cabrera again, very nice. So yeah, like I said before, let me know in the comments what y'all think. Did I get my 50 bucks worth? I, I think I might have. I mean, if you're going to go through 12 boxes of these, I think even if they were all just commons, it would still be fun. Uh, not as much fun as I'm having, though. Seth Beard, another rookie. I mean, I, I could tell you that my five-year box is definitely going to be a couple hundred, maybe a couple hundred cards in. Maybe a couple, couple hundred cards in. 100, 150 cards just to put away for later and see what happens to them as they continue their careers. Rookie card there. And I'm having an avalanche of rookie cards. That's not good. Let me straighten something up here. Okay, that's a little bit better. So what do I have left here? I still have one, two, three of these little boxes. And one two of these big boxes. I think I'm going to open that one. That'll be my last one of this vid. I think I've seen enough to know that this, yeah, this has been, been a lot of fun. And what do we have in here? Okay, that's folded up. That's kind of interesting. So yeah, it looks like whatever happened to these, that, that thick card, I forget what it's called, whether it's a team card or something like that, has probably been taken out of all of these. I mean, that's what it's looking like. If it's even supposed to be in all of these, I'm not even sure. Oh, wait, wait, that's an interesting one. And that's the kind of one I was talking about. That's Cody Bellinger, super thick card, weighs like eight pounds. That's pretty cool. Okay, I can't frapper that one up, but that's nice. Feels like a helmet, feels like a helmet. All right, I'm going to put you very carefully right there and see what else we have here. McCutcheon, Real Muda, okay, nice. Keep those in the special stack. Rookie card. And another rookie card. And another rookie card. Sorry, y'all, was paged again by Mrs. Bunkle. Seems to be a very, very, very busy night in the Bunkle house, that's for sure. Now that the kids are on summer break, they're bored, nothing to do, and I, anyway, I, <laughs> no further comment. If they're so bored, I got some homework for them. I, I got summer school for them. <laughs> they won't be happy with that, but. Let's see. Let's see. I know I never dared to tell my parents that I was bored because they had chores and they had something else. And there was always something to do if you're bored. Either that or go out and play. But you know what? Right now when I'm filming, it's got to be somewhere. Yeah, it's a little bit past midnight. And they're bored. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how that works. All right. Ooh, let's see. Uh, these are all flipped around, flipped around, flipped around, flipped around. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now I got some, 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 some cards in order. All right, another Wookiee card. Keep finding these Wookiee cards, Wookiee cards, Wookiee cards. See, and I, I would try to find a way to maybe film later at night, but that might be kind of hard because, again, it's bit after midnight right now and i gotta be up at 5 30 ish tomorrow morning to get ready to go to work so not much i could really push the envelope further out all right we got a two another Jordan alvarez Future stars. Javi Baez, nice. Another rookie card. Oh, what's that? That's something different. Home field advantage card. Christian Yelich. <laughs> Very nice, okay. And we got ourselves our 87th throwback card. Cedric Mullins. 
and Walker Bueller. Okay, that's pretty cool. BGO, different BGO than I'm used to seeing. Patrick Corbett. Superstars in the Big Apple. Yeah, there are. They're in the Yankee. They're in Yankee Stadium. Okay, enough with that. All right, we got Bo Bichette. Very nice there. And who else? Mitch Hanga. All right, we got another rookie. Another Mount Castle. Another rookie. Walker Bueller again. Another rookie, Shane Baz. And we got our bl a blue card here. That's a different one. And stars of the MLB, George Springer. And another rookie. And another rookie. Another junk rookie. I'm sorry, but that, that's just unfortunate. I mean, if he has a real great career and all that, I, I, I don't know how I'd adjust to hearing about junk in the Hall of Fame. Although, you know, there's some players in the Hall of Fame that I, I don't remember them being great. And uh, I guess they could be considered junk, but they got that, that Hall of Fame plaque. So just, I guess, valuable junk or junk that made a difference in the major leagues, I, I guess. All right, and yeah, it looks like I went through all those already. Okay, very cool. So. I still have a bunch of boxes here to go through on my own time after this. And I got a whole stack of great cards here. In my opinion, great cards. Let's see what I got. Let's see what I got here. Let's see what I got here. I got to put that to the side. I'm going to put this one to the side. So I still have... One big one and three little ones to go through. So out of 12, I think I said there were, I've gone through eight and I got a stack of rookie baby rookie cards from 2022 that who knows what their future might hold a stack that big. So basically one full box or bigger than a box of just rookies. I got a whole bunch of great inserts I got up on the Wall of Fame. And then I got a bunch of others that I got to frapper up to. I mean, everybody who's a somebody and some who might not be a nobody. I mean, John means what? I'm not sure, but he threw a no-hitter. That's what it looks like. And that one probably should go into the, into the rookie stack. And... McCutcheon, that's great. And where's my other Hank Aaron that's in there? There goes the other Hank Aaron. Two Hank Aarons. So absolutely great stuff. And I should probably be a lot more careful with these because I'm probably scratching them off. And if they were ever a 10, they're probably like a 3. Anyway, so that was fun. Let me know what you think. Would you buy open boxes, open packs, knowing that they're open? And it, it, it's a, it's a, as they say, it's a, it's a, luck of the draw but isn't it a luck of the draw anyway in any pack i mean it's the way i look at it anyway hope you enjoyed y'all take care stay well stay blessed bonkle out